We're catching some red drum from the surf on cut mullet. Oh yeah. So we did a little scouting when it was low tide. We found this one spot where there's actually a little bit of a drop off here into the first sandbar. And since it's one, one of the only places on the beach with some sort of structure, some drop off, we decided to fish this because this kind of trough here acts as the highway for the fish. So all we're doing is throwing some cut bait into this trough and letting it sit. So we're really only casting about 10 feet off. Alright, some rigs we're using when we're going after these fish. We got the high low rig here, got weight at the bottom, got steel here on this one. We're using circle hooks. That way we just let it stay up there. Have to drag a little tight, not too tight. Enough to give enough pressure to set the hook by itself. When we hook them, we're gonna go through the skin. It's gonna keep it on the best on the hook. We're using cut mullet, super oily fish, gets the scent out there. Great for any fish that likes cut bait. Uh, we just took it into like bite-sized pieces and put it on. We're just going to cast it out like 10 feet off the surf. Because if you look at it, you can see the waves crashing out there on the first sandbar before it gets to the beach. So you're really casting in between the beach and that first sandbar. That's where the trough is. That's where all these big fish are just used as a highway. You can see the mullet jumping out of the trough. We're being chased by the uh, red drum and other predatory species. So you can see we're just going to barely cast it right off. Right there, right in that trough. So any fish is going up and down, we'll hook up, baby. What do we think? What do we think? What do you think it is? I don't know. Might have been that big stingray. I don't, know. I don't think it's a stingray. Moving a lot for a stingray. Oh lord. <laughs> it is moving, moving a good bit. What do you think it is? I don't know. I just wanted to come in. Crank them, right? Crank them. Oh, she's coming in now. Go, right? Go. What is it? Oh, I saw it. Point six, we're good. Sweet. <laughs> Go, we right? Break them off, man. No, I'm not. Don't bring me to the water. Here, here, give them a No, no, no. You don't. Not get them through the gill. Bring them back. No, 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 no. Somewhere around get the stringer. Yeah, go around and get the stringer. Check. I see how you're getting involved, though. Oh, my goodness. I caught two drums. That's true. I, uh, we gotta go get, get that stringer. Thanks, Uncle Ian. Man, yeah, people don't know how to do it. Oh, oh there yeah, you look, go. Look how easy it is. Look at it. Now we can rinse them off. Yay! Oh God, are you gonna worry about losing it? Oh dear. Oh dear. Don't trust those things. Hey, hey, it's fine. Give me that damn thing. Give me that damn thing. Come on, Jack. Trust you one bit with the fish. Move, 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 move. Let's get a picture of me first. <laughs> hey, 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 let me take a picture of, of her fish. All right, Rach. Right. Yeah, yeah just lip them. I would say oh get, get away from the water. All right, get a picture in the water with her. Hey, what'd you catch them on, Rach? Uh, cut mullet. Caught with the casting net by Uncle Andy yesterday. Yeah. Are these his nostrils? I don't know. But we should take, someone should take him back. Like, <laughs> like, he looks like Lord Voldemort. Doesn't he? Uh-huh. To get into the trough, we really have to cast like 10 feet off the beach. It acts like a highway for these predatory fish. And that's exactly where Rachel got that hit on her cup day run. 